I'm really delighted and proud to present the Canberra Symphony Orchestra's 2015 series. We've seen the orchestra over these last years develop in such an extraordinary way. To see the results of all of our work has been extremely gratifying. The connection we have with our audience is now something that's really palpable. Uh, we have the highest subscription renewal rates of any orchestra in Australia. And what we've achieved, even more than that, is a real sense of community between this orchestra and the community we serve. The Canberra Symphony Orchestra is made up of engaged and passionate musicians who are profoundly Canberrans passionate about Canberra. The musicians of our orchestra play with great excitement, with wonderful virtuosity and with a real belief in our mission. Our vision for the Canberra Symphony Orchestra is to be an orchestra that really serves its community in a thousand different ways. We have an extraordinary range of offerings in 2015, not only our mainstream symphonic concerts, but all sorts of other activities which bring the orchestra into different aspects of music making within the community. Although I work now with many orchestras throughout, throughout the world and in Australia, it's always a profound pleasure to be with the Canberra Symphony Orchestra. This is an orchestra that is a jewel. It's a, it's a miracle here in Canberra, an orchestra that, work, that performs at a world-class level with incredible engagement and passion. Our musicians are delighted at the music we're creating and more than that we're thrilled to be part of something magical, something miraculous that's happening here in Canberra. Audiences are responding to this magic, this chemistry and we all feel it when we're here on stage with a full house everybody can feel that something special is happening and there are moments where you can hear a pin drop because everybody's just waiting for the next moment, the next thing that's going to happen that's going to captivate our respective imaginations. The Llewellyn series features music of Tchaikovsky, of Rachmaninoff, of Sibelius, of Brahms. There's music by all the great composers and the challenge for me as the artistic director of this organisation is to find a way to put those programs together that's compelling, that's new, that's exciting and that's thrilling. And I think uh, I've, I've succeeded in doing that because when I look at these concert programs and I think, would I like to go to that? The, the answer is, of course, wow, that's a great program and I know our audience is going to love it. I think it's important to bring something new as well to the Llewellyn series. And we've done that not only in terms of the composers that we're bringing, Kodai, Sibelius, Marquez, Richard Mills. These are composers that aren't performed all the time. But of course, we combine that with better known composers such as Tchaikovsky, Brahms, Rachmaninoff. But the music uh, has to really work in the evening. And that's the interesting thing about these programs, that one comes to a concert and one is taken really on a journey for that evening. Music, in fact, is sculptured time. For the course of that concert, we have to sculpture the time in a very special way that's going to be compelling and captivating for our public. I'm convinced that all of these programs in the Llewellyn series will take our listeners on very special and unique journeys. The music is going to be sometimes unknown and sometimes very well known. But in every case, the performance will be engaged, thrilling and edge of the seat type stuff that's going to really excite our audiences. All of the musicians are thrilled to be part of these performances and we all experience something very special being part of the live music experience that makes going to a live concert so much more rewarding than sitting at home listening to a CD on the stereo. Llewellyn Hall is a really extraordinary acoustic. It's, uh, it's an acoustic that is not only beautiful to look at but the symphonic experience here in Llewellyn Hall is something that's absolutely palpable. One can feel the energy and the sound when the brass play a huge chorale. Something sweeps over you that's absolutely impressive and powerful. When the percussion just bang away with incredible drive and motoric energy, one senses that power. And when the strings get stuck into the soulful Russian Tchaikovsky-esque, Rachmaninoff-esque melodies, there's something that's absolutely visceral in that energy. 
The Saturday series is brought together by virtue of the fact that all concerts occur on a Saturday. In the case of our first concert in that series, the Shell Prom concert, it's an early evening concert. The second concert of the series is the Actu Grand Gala, an evening concert. And the final concert of the series, the Canberra Weekly Matinee Magic, is an afternoon concert. Each of these concerts, however, has its own particular flavour, if you will. The prom concert is obviously an incredible Canberra tradition. It's a place where our audiences enjoy fine music, wine, a picnic, a person will compare who conducts the concert and takes an audience through a, an incredible uh, musical entertainment. The Actu Grand Gala is a glittering opera spectacle. In 2015, it's going to feature two extraordinary vocalists, absolutely scintillating talents, who are going to overwhelm and astonish our audiences. And obviously, the music from the opera genre is music that, by its very nature, is music of incredible communicative power, music that's sometimes searing in its emotional content and sometimes incredibly tender. The final concert of the Saturday series is the Canberra Weekly Matinee Magic Concert. And in 2015, that concert's going to be quite something. It's a concert entitled In the Mood, and it's a concert that's going to see the Canberra Symphony Orchestra in all of its virtuosic brilliance be converted into a big band playing swing music by Glenn Miller, Duke Ellington and Cole Porter and all the other favourites, Chattanooga, Choo Choo and Little Brown Jug and all the many favourites that audiences know and love and we're also going to feature in that program the effervescent Rachel Beck. All of those Saturday concerts are going to be experiences that are quite unique but the one thing, of course, tying all of our activities together, whether they're the Saturday series or the Llewellyn concert or any of the other events that we do throughout the community, is the incredible virtuosity and engagement of the magnificent musicians of the Canberra Symphony Orchestra.